what is going on? We are talking options on public. Yes, that is right. They have been buffing out the platform, offering a lot more uh, than what they originally started out as when it comes to a brokerage platform or a brokerage account. Now, on public, we're going to go through the options, and this is brand new. So there will be videos in the future diving deeper into this that we'll post. Um, and if you are watching this video after the fact and there have been some major changes, just drop a comment. We'll see those come through and we can make an updated video and talk about more details if needed when it comes to options on public. So this is a, I don't want to say brand new because it's been out for at least a couple of days, but it is fairly new. When you're watching this, it's still going to be fairly, fairly new. And I love it because it's a competitor to some of the other brokerage platforms out there. And I think highly competing with Robinhood specifically. Not really going to compete with like a Webull because Webull is more of like an active trading brokerage platform. But if you are someone who is kind of your average everyday Joe, who has some money invested, wants to get into some trading here and there, I'm probably going to lose money. Just my two cents. But public has availability. Now, if it was me, the option chain that you're looking at here, and everyone's going to be looking at this, this is buy right here. I would make a quick adjustment to the sell side and be looking on that end of the spectrum. If you don't know what that's all about, how to sell options, we've got some videos and we actually have a video, I think covering why like 90% of option traders lose. And we dive into that, all the stats behind it and more. But that's not the point of this video. I'm not trying to tell you what you should do. I'm just going off of stats, really. Uh, but most people are going to lose money when they buy options, calls, and puts. Uh, and, you know, we've all been there, done that, and probably lost uh, at least a fair share in our lifetimes. However, here's how it works. So right now, when you pull up the options tab, there's an explore tab on the left-hand side. So you log into your account. I am doing this on uh, a web-based platform. So there is a mobile app. Uh, this will be quite similar to the mobile app. It'll just got to be more condensed down into the phone version of this. But on the left-hand side, there will be options. And you'll see, I mean, options. And one of the options is options. So there's explore, options, bonds, plans. I'm going to click on where we have the brand new sign options. That's what I clicked on. And here we are. So by default, it's going to be showing you the most traded on option contracts on the market right now, uh, as in today. And it's a Tuesday when I am filming this video. There's some more I want to cover in a second. But that's what this is all about. So it, it, does this mean that you should trade these? No, but these are going to be more of the liquid option contracts. It's where a lot of eyeballs are at. It's where a lot of attention is at. Some key levels to maybe watch going out for the next couple of days on Tesla, Spy, NVIDIA, Apple, etc. right? So that's what it defaults to. Now, you don't. Ha you can trade any, like you can trade anything you want, right? It doesn't matter. You can trade whatever stocks you want. Now, of course, there are limitations to not every stock uh, allows options trading and all that stuff. Um, but the main, the main big dogs, the main big, you know, large cap stocks, like you don't have to worry about, you can trade any option, any strike price, any date, you know, you don't have to worry about that stuff. So under popular options, if I click on that, I can search for stocks. Okay. Where it says filter. So I click on popular options. I can have it default or I can have it, I can uncheck the include ETFs. So like spy or QQQ. If you just want stocks and not, you know, ETFs popping up and get rid of that. And now you just see individual stocks. I personally don't mind. So I'm gonna leave it checked. Now under this filter tab as well, you have, you can filter by just equities in your port. So like if you only hold, you know, spy and Tesla and Apple, you can sort it by that and it will only show what's in your portfolio. So for example, if that's my recommendation, if you were someone who had you know, investments in a lot of companies and you're all in public and you've built up 100 plus shares of a lot of these different stocks, if you sort by equities in your portfolio, now you can sort by the stocks that you can now sell covered calls on or sell, I guess you can sell cash or cured puts on anything you want, but sell covered calls and boom, it makes it a little bit easier. So you have to look everything up. Uh, popular equities on public, the most frequently traded stocks and ETFs can pop up as well. So you can do that too. And you can get a list. I mean, as you can see, right, what, what are the most frequently traded names, right? It's, it's the stocks, Tesla, it's Nvidia, it's Apple, it's Amazon. And as you scroll down, like that is, that is it. Oh, that's SoundCloud on there. Oh, wow. Cool. Uh, but yeah, those are the main, the main players. Interesting. SoundCloud, right? That's SoundCloud, I assume. S-O-U-N. 
Uh, okay, either way, that's the filter side. There's also a way to sort by contract. So I can sort by volume and then even top gainers. So those are two things I would recommend you do because right now, for example, if I'm looking through, if I get rid of this, I'm gonna go to, get, I'm gonna go to popular, I guess popular equities is fine. Inside of the popular equities, like the popular stocks, uh, or I guess ETFs, which of the, what, like this is kind of cool. So you can look at this and say, what contracts have made the biggest gains today? And right now you have NVIDIA and SoundCloud killing it with, you know, a 600, there's, a, there's an option contract here now. It's a cheap one that went 600%. There's a, a bunch of 200 percenters. So there's some pretty cool, you can sort by that or you can sort by volume. So what has the most volume, where the most liquidity is, what's been trading a lot heavily, and, and you can sort by that. So that's kind of like the filter tab on the left-hand side. I just want to cover that so you can at least understand where that's coming from. Now, if I jump through, there's a strategy section here. This is something that, that is going to be building. They're building this out, uh, I would imagine, in a, in a big way going forward. So they have this set as coming soon. So this is something we can, this is worth a whole other video on, uh, I'll be honest, where we can go through a bunch of those positions. But similar to Robinhood, you can then select, hey, I think stocks are going to, this stocks and go up, down. It's going to be, you know, I think it's going to stay the same, whatever. And you can play different option strategies and they'll explain how or what these strategies do. So it's kind of cool, but that's more advanced. That's worth a whole other video. Okay, so we hit the explore tab again. We're back under popular options. We're on the explore tab. Cool, we're just checking things out. We can also sort by expiration. So I can now select an asset class. For example, let's go with uh, Google. I'm gonna go to Google and I'm gonna then go by expiration, which is on the right-hand side and I can change the dates. So, oh, that's cool. They have an earnings. They have the next earnings uh, log in there. That's really nice. Cause you know, sometimes, you know, you have to go back to the charts and say, ah, when's the next earnings? Oh, I don't know. I gotta look it up. Boom, they got the next earnings popped in. So if I don't wanna deal with the next earnings volatility, I can go out to April 19th, boom, just before the next earnings contract and play, you know, Google before that. If I wanna think, if I think Google's going up, down, left, right, whatever, uh, buy, sell. Calls and puts are on the top as well. So obviously, if you are betting on Google going up, you would buy a call. Betting on Google going down, you would buy a put. Uh, and then the strike prices are all, are all logged up and set uh, above the current price and below the current price. And on the put side, more expensive below, less expensive above. On the call side, opposite, more expensive above, less below. Okay, in a nutshell, that is the platform. That's what they have as of right now. Diving deeper, let's say I wanted to go out and purchase the Google 130 calls. Okay. How do you do it? You click on the plus sign and it will turn to a check mark and I will go down right here. On the right hand side, you will see your buying power. Okay. Currently, I don't have any money in this account, but if you had available funds in the account, margin, etc then it will show you how much options buying power you have right here, which is good to know before you place an order, okay? Beyond that, there is the option to go through with a limit or a market order. Not a ton of advanced orders here. No stop limits, none of that stuff as of right now. It's bare bones, but it's it's hopefully going to get built out to heavily compete with Robin. And, and I think it was necessary that they added options um, because, I mean, who is going to use this, especially if you are, you know, someone who is interested in selling options or even buying options, right? There's a lot of money to be made there. And then I'll get to that next piece in a second because there is actually an incentive for you as well on the other on the other side. So uh, bid, ask, I can drop down, the, have a drop down menu. It shows me how many are on the bid, how many are on the ask. Cool, little bars to show me, oh, cool, it looks nice. I can then just go to, I'm gonna go to a market order, just, you know, okay, whatever. I can enter how many I wanna buy. And then it will then convert it to the actual price. So 1175 or 1165, sorry, is what the contract is going for. But multiply that by 100 times how many contracts you're going to buy is how much you are going to ultimately pay. So this is a $1,160 position that I'd be potentially opening up on Google. So on the bottom of this, huge, love this. This is something that Robinhood as well also has done. It shows you your, you know, best and worst case scenarios, I guess, right? So this graph is going through Google's price at expiration. So it does not calculate today, tomorrow, the next day. It is on the 19th of April. What is going to be the value of your position? Okay. So, or I guess your P&L, profit and loss. If Google is sitting 
at exactly 141.69, or roughly around there, 141, yeah, 69, you will have a zero PL. If Google falls to this dot right here, okay, to under 130, roughly, you are going to be down the max you can lose, which is the entire investment, which is going to be $1,165, roughly. Okay. And if Google goes up, you can see how much you can make. So cool to see that you need, you, it gives you a rough idea of what you're looking for. And when it comes to options, technically your max profit is unlimited. If Google goes to infinity, it could, right? But your break-even price, meaning your option contract will be worth exactly what you paid for it at the expiration date is around 141.65. And then it has your max loss there. So you can kind of gauge your risk reward from there if you hold for max losses, as some people do, some people don't. Again, it comes down to your preference and your style when it comes to options. You'd click next. In my case, I'd have to deposit funds. And then in your case, if you have the funds, you can go ahead and execute the order. That in a nutshell is the options platform here on public. Personally, I haven't felt a need to move from a Robinhood or a TD Ameritrade that I personally use and other platforms that I've used, Webull in the past as well, for this style of investing or trading. However, public is definitely catching my attention. Now, jump down to the bottom right here. I go back to the options page. Order flow rebates. Check this out. This is something that's also pretty cool. Technically speaking, you are going to get 50% of the order flow, I guess, that would have gone to public, you're going to get 50% of that. If you are watching this video, I'm, this is not sponsored by any means too. If you are watching this video before March 31st, 2024, this may change, but that's as of right now. If you activate options trading on your account, you will be locked into a 50% lifetime rebate. Okay. So they're getting paid. You're getting half of it and they're being transparent in that regard. Kind of cool. Kind of cool. Uh, not to mention, if you jump over here to the Option Resource Center, you're going to see a lot of information, people explaining in video format, uh, the basics of options, how things work. And I think it's kind of cool. They've even got fundamentals and multi-leg strategy stuff on there too. That's great. They're, they're giving you the information that you need so you don't have to come in here and be like, ah, I have no idea what I'm doing. You shouldn't be trading options if you have no idea what you're doing. So at least you have something to reference. That's all there for you. Um, I'll leave a link to public down below if you want to check it out. It is an affiliate link, I believe. So it does support the channel, but it's up to you if you want to check them out. If you don't, I, I don't know. I know personally, I've had an account for a while, but I never felt the need to put money in because there were platforms like Robinhood and Webull and even other platforms out there that I thought just were, were made more sense, been around longer. And uh, man, Robin has its up and downs for sure, but just had more features to, to them. And public is certainly picking up the pace or picking up uh, the pressure on other platforms. And I like, it's a good thing. Competition is good, in my opinion, as you know, someone who's on the outside looking in. It's good for us because you know, better deals, better things, and more competition will breed even more deals, hopefully. Thanks so much for watching. I'll leave those links down below, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.